I'm making a little video when I'm going through some mountain area, real pretty. This is Durwood uh, on Memorial Day 2023, going through the mountains. Um, I'm heading from uh, Tennessee back to North Carolina. I figured I'd do you a little live video and talk to you a little bit of it. That, those of you out there in YouTube land, in Facebook land, um, the Lord blessed me to get that octave mandolin. I'm, I got I got my baby, my baby Mia mandolin rose in the back seat. She's wrapped up my newborn baby back there, ready ready for me to pluck some music, get back to Clinton. Look at those mountains. So I wanted to share the, the mountain scenes with you when I'm going down the road. Look at there, isn't that pretty? God's handiwork. So um, I got some good music in the background. Daryl and Don Richie in the background. Boy, some breathtaking mountains here. Sure, the sunrise in the morning. You are God and I am not. Oh, beautiful. Yep. I take, I'm taking the route that goes around the, this bypass in the main mountains in North Carolina. I took from Kingsport, Tennessee, I took 81 North. I took it all the way up to where you need to uh, boomerang back around on, on 77 South to bypass a lot of the mountains. But you can see over there to the left. Well, I can't move the, the camera to too well, but anyway, you'll see some other stuff coming up. There's, there's a lot of really pretty country that I'm in right now. I figured I'd make the video of that while I'm going down the road and uh, chat with you a little bit. Um, anyway, look at there, coming up. God's handiwork right there, look at there. Nice, big mountains. Well, not super big, but it's, again, I chose the route that goes way up and then kind of goes around to keep the, 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 uh, the main highways instead of going through so many twists and turns in the main mountains. I'm trying to get back to Guitar Center in Raleigh before they close to pick up a strap for the mandolin. Uh, this mandolin's got a bigger, this mandolin is, uh, it's got more weight to it than a regular one. So I've got to have a, um, hold on a second, my camera. But the, the mandolin is a, a little bigger, so it needs a strap that's wider than a, than a real narrow mandolin strap. So I got one waiting on me at the Guitar Center. It's got roses, red roses on the strap. And uh, see anyhow, it'll, be, it'll go pretty with the roses on the mandolin. Uh, in the background here, we got Daryl and Don Richie singing, Ain't No Grave Gonna Hold My Body Down. That's a new CD I got. Daryl and Don Richie, you can look them up online. They're from Georgia and they're a husband and wife gospel uh, duet and they're really good. Or between death and life, there on the tree, the Lamb of God was crucified. It's kind of bluesy, country bluesy. Look at there, welcome to North Carolina. Welcome to North Carolina, hallelujah. Well, I'm glad to be back in North Carolina. Welcome to Surrey County. So I, it was on my mind to make a little video while I'm going down the road, let y'all see some of my road trip. But the Lord bless when we got out there. The lady that had built my mandolin, she had it ready when I got there. And I brought 
brother, my brother Dale Thornton brought his guitar, a Fender acoustic that that was my mother's that that um that he, he he wanted it, so I let him have that one. And but it needed some work done to it on the height of the strings and and um, I got him a, a elect, some electronics put in there for a pickup volume volume control and all that stuff on that acoustic guitar, so he can plug it in um, like mine. It'll be easy for him to go electric into a sound system. So got Dale's guitar upgraded with the active uh, pickup system, and I took my Dobro. My Dobro had a cracked bridge. Uh, back when Roscoe gave me the Dobro, it was brand new, and it was it came from a. Uh, uh, he ordered it through the mail from Musicians Friend, which is a good supplier. But but the Dobro was. The, the bridge was cracked, even brand new when it came in from shipment. It had been, it had been hit. And um, so anyway, and I had glued it, and that wasn't really enough. It was it needed a new bridge. And so I had talked to Clorinda, the lady that does the, the work on these instruments, and asked her, does, does she do any work on, on, the, on Dobro's? And she said, uh, show me what you got. And I did, and she said, "Okay, I'll I'll, I'll redo this and then get you get you set back up right." So, so she replaced the bridge on it and uh, adjusted the neck. And she said that the neck had way too much tension on it, and with the truss rod. So, um, anyway, look at those flowers over there on, on the left. You got the orange and the yellow. It's, it's pretty out here, real very pretty. Uh, so anyway. She fixed the Dobro and that thing, it plays the best, it sounds the best and it ever has. And uh, Dale's guitar is uh, it's in, it's in the best condition it's been in. She's got everything dialed in good, adjusted the neck, and made a new bridge for it, put a pickup system in it. And uh, so anyway, 